Welcome to Put Talk with Charan. I'm really excited to introduce you all to a new ingredient that I've started cooking with recently. Vegetarians and vegans. Your search for a high protein food ends here. We are cooking with the tempeh cubes from Hello Tempeh. So what is tempeh? It is an ingredient made by fermenting whole soybeans with no additives and no preservatives. Now don't think tofu. It is so different from tofu and in fact absorbs flavors much better than tofu or paneer. And that's the reason I'm thoroughly enjoying cooking with this. And the fact that it has a much better nutritional profile is just the icing on the cake. This 200 gram pack of tempeh cubes consists of 38 grams of protein. Now, can you believe that? That's almost equal to the daily requirement of somebody who weighs about 45 to 50 kgs. And the fact that these are fermented, well, it's great for your gut health too. So what are we cooking with tempeh today? We are making a vindaloo. Yes, a tempeh vindaloo with these cubes. So just a small trivia. Vindalu is a Goan dish and it is said to have got its name from a mispronounced Portuguese dish which meant meat marinated in vinegar and garlic. And well, those are the flavours that hit your palate first when you eat a Vindalu. And try it with these tempeh cubes. I'm sure you'll be licking your fingers. The first step for making this vindaloo is to marinate the tempeh cubes. Tempeh absorbs flavours really well, so it is a good idea to marinate them for about 10 to 15 minutes before you cook them. And make sure your tempeh cube packets are kept refrigerated. So take it out of the refrigerator just when you are ready to cook them. Let us marinate these tempeh cubes with some pepper powder, turmeric powder and some salt. Keep the marinated tempeh cubes aside while we prepare the vindalu masala. So this vindalu masala can be prepared in advance also and you can keep it refrigerated and use it as needed. For this we need whole dry red chilies, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, fenugreek seeds, seeds from one whole black cardamom, a few peppercorns, cloves, cinnamon, dry roast these spices till they are fragrant. Into this ground spice powder, let's add some green chilies, ginger garlic paste, a little bit of sugar, vinegar, you can use lemon juice also, and some salt. So grind this together into a fine paste. The vindalu masala paste is ready. So the next step is to saute those cubes in a little bit of oil. So once the tempeh cubes are sauteed, add the prepared vindalu masala paste into it and then just keep it aside till it's ready to be added to the gravy. 
That way, it absorbs that vindalu masala flavors also well. The last and final step is to prepare the gravy. So I generally add onions and tomatoes when I make vindalu, but there are many recipes which skip these two ingredients as well. Add a little oil to your kadai. Once the oil heats up, add some mustard seeds, curry leaves, and into this goes some chopped garlic. Once the garlic starts changing color, add chopped onions and a bay leaf to this. Add a little bit of salt. So you need to cook this till the onions are translucent. Next goes in some tomatoes. Also add in half a teaspoon of chilli powder. These tempeh cubes are not just high in protein and great for your gut health, but they are high in fiber and low in carbs as well as fats. So all in all, it's super balanced. I hope you have enjoyed watching how to cook with tempeh cubes and will surely try out this tempeh vindalu recipe. It's really easy to cook with tempeh once you get a hang of it. So why don't you try out my low fat butter chicken or the tofu stir fry recipe with these tempeh cubes. So let's tempeh.